Hi, my name is Camille Holder Brown, and I am one of the co owners of Mikhail Cafe here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Mikhail Cafe is a Caribbean, Jamaican inspired vegan restaurant along with a juice bar. Um, we've also, over the years, kind of thrown in some other American fare, like veggie burgers that we make in-house, and we're essentially a vegan scratch kitchen. Uh, my name is Omar Brown, and I'm the co-founder of the Kale Cafe Juice Bar and Vegan Cuisine. Both of our, our, our family uh, families are from Jamaica, so these colors, are uh, they're vibrant, and they're colors of the Caribbean, as well as Boston colors. Kale Cafe is different because this is um, me and my husband bringing our customers and our community into our home. This is our dining room. This is our personal dining room. We spend a lot of time here. These recipes, our things that we've created at home over the years. Yes, sir. Yeah. Kale Cafe is uh, it, it's more than a dream. It's the um, it's the amalgamation of almost all the things we envision. You know, we um, we started as a as a nonprofit organization, um, but it's morphed into. Um, much, much greater than that. You know, our community has allowed us to, I don't know, they've given us longer tentacles so we could reach out further and touch more people. It just, it means community. Uh, I know it's a restaurant, but it was founded on, on, on community. Uh, we, like I said, we started a nonprofit organization that we advocated healthy lifestyles and environmental sustainability. So uh, we were always pretty much connected. Um, we pretty much just switched our status from nonprofit to profit. So my customers begged us to make our salad dressing for about a decade because we started off at the farmer's market. So once we finally had a recipe ourselves, because we made our salad at the, in the beginning by eye, and it was kind of chaotic, you know, doing it on the fly, and customers are like, you know, like trying to scramble it together. And once we got a system for it, we got a recipe, our like kind of revolutionized our life and made it easier. And so during the pandemic, I think it dawned on us that everyone is not as mobile to come out all the time, or they don't feel comfortable coming out anymore. So we still want to serve that population. So the salad dressing was born. But again, Seitan is something that we've really mastered, and it's a vegan wheat meat, and it's not, ours isn't like made with a ton of salt, because we make it fresh multiple times during the week. So that is something that we would love to package and maybe like um, vacuum seal and sell in the freezer section, so people can do whatever they want, like jerk it or whatever, the, like barbecue, whatever. And then our veggie burgers, we, um, we also plan on uh, packaging those. So I would say those are our main um, three things that we're working on. Yes, yes, yes. Our customers are 100% family. It, it's so crazy that, you know, we'll see someone, we could have seen them a couple of days ago, but it's just like your Uncle Joe or something. Like, ah, what's going on? You know, I haven't seen you in two days. <laughs> You know, so it's, um, we love that, 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 that aspect of our business because we've seen people just change their lives and that is really the, the huge reward, you know? I would say that my restaurant has been 100% positive influence. We are not um, domineering in any way where we force veganism on anyone. We give free samples of food, and that started at our farmer's market days because we came from New York City where I shopped at Whole Foods Market with my children and got samples of everything to Daytona where they were like, what's tofu? What is this? What is that? What's that green stuff in the blender at the farmer's market? And um, so all we wanted to do was kind of like show people what this stuff was. Ah, oh, other aspiring entrepreneurs. It's going to be tough. Don't be romanticized by whatever you're getting into. 
doesn't matter. There's gonna be a learning curve if you haven't already encountered it, you know? Um, you can't give up. You can't give up. You have to stay positive and you have to believe in yourself. Like, a lot of times entrepreneurs feel crazy and that's a good thing because everyone can't see your vision, you know? And if everyone could, you know, what good would it be? Do not wait for everything to be perfect. Um, if you have the passion and you're willing to put in the work, um, go for it. Just go for it. And don't be afraid to fail because you will fail. Failing is part of growing. Um, if you learn from your mistakes, just keep going. Just keep going, keep going. And say, I'm gonna, no matter what, I'm gonna get there. I don't care how long it takes me. I don't care if I die trying. I'm going to just get there. And, you know, for us, um, I know there's two movies I have to make before I die. And my husband is, wants to have 300 Cal Cafe franchises. We're going to do that. We're gonna just keep pushing towards that.